hello guys welcome back to another tutorial in today's video we'll be recreating this maxi double full face skirt with irregular sides and pockets if this is something you're interested in keep on watching and let's get right into the tutorial i'm working with these six meters of ankara print but before we start we're going to do some calculations I'm working with a weight circumference of 34 inches and the full length of my skirt is 41 inches. I'm going to divide this waist circumference by 2 for the front and back panels. So for the front I will have 17 inches and on the back panel I will have 17 inches as well. On the front panel I have 17 inches. I'm going to add 1 inch seam allowance, half inch on both sides to join it to the back panel. This gives me 18 inches. Then on the back panel, I have 17 inches as well. I'm going to add one inch seam allowance, half inch on both sides to join to the front panel, plus two inches zip allowance, and this gives me 20 inches. You can as well add all the seam allowance to the waist circumference and divide by two for the front and back panel, but I just like to do mine this way. I will divide each panel by 4 because my fabric will be folded into 4. So on the front panel I will have 18 by 4, this gives me 4 and a half. While on the back I have 20 by 4 and this gives me 5 inches. So the radius on the front panel is 4 and a half while on the back is 5 inches. Like I earlier mentioned, you can as well add all the seam allowance to the waist circumference and in my case, if I'm to add my seam allowance to my waist circumference, that will be 4 inches plus 34, this gives me 38 inches and if I divide it into 2 for the front and back panel, I'm going to have 19 inches on each panel. So if I divide 19 inches by 4 because my fabric is folded into 4, I'll have 4.75 inches which falls between four and a half to five inches. So whichever way you do it, you're going to get the same result. I'm starting first with the front panel. The full length of my skirt measured 41 inches. The width of my band measured three inches. For us to get the length of fabric to fold, I'm going to add four and a half inches, the radius of my front panel to the full length of my skirt which is 41 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance and this gives me 46 and a half inches i've folded my fabric at 47 inches i will fold it again in a triangular form my fabric is folded into four and it's folded at 47 inches so whatever you get as your radius you're going to add that to the full length of your skirt plus seam allowance and that's how much fabric you're going to fold So from the tip of that triangle, I'm going to come down with my tape to the point whereby if I measure the quadrant, I will have four and a half inches. Once I get to that point, I'm going to measure the distance from the tip of the triangle to that point so that I can take it round. For me, I came down from the tip of the triangle at 8 inches to get that 4.5 inches radius. Now from that 8 inches point, I'm going to measure the remaining length and for me, I have 39 inches. So if I add my 3 inches waistband to this, I'll have 42 inches which corresponds to the full length of my skirt. Please, the 42 inches include 1 inch seam allowance. I'm going to take this round and cut out my front panel. When you fold your fabric, calculate with the full length of your skirt. Do not minus the width of your waistband yet. The full length of your skirt plus your radius, that is what you're going to fold. So that when you remove your radius, whatever remains when you add your waistband is going to equate to the full length of your skirt. So I've cut out my front panel and before I open it, I'm just going to smoothen out that edges with the edge of my scissors to make a crease. This is going to 
guide me when I'm about to shape the sides of this skirt. So this side is my center front. I'm just going to draw a line on that crease to make it more visible. So I have the sides of my skirt on one side and the side of this skirt is shorter than the center front. So for the side of this skirt, I use 33 inches including the waistband. So if I minus my 3 inches waistband, I'll be left with 30 inches. On the waistline, I went out by 3 inches, the width of my waistband, and I came down at 34 inches, and this includes my 1 inch seam allowance, and I make a point there. From that point, I will curve it towards the center front. On that crease line, I marked as a guide, I came up by 2 inches. I will connect all these points until I get a curve that I'm happy with. So guys, this is what my curve looks like. At the guideline where I came up by 2 inches, I later went up again by 1 inch making it 3 inches and I redrew my curve. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. I have inserted this white paper to show you the flow of the curve and for you to have an idea of what yours should look like. I'm going to use this front panel as a template to shape my back panel but before then I will cut out the radius of my back panel which is at 5 inches then I'll use this as a template to shape the back panel. I've cut out the back panel, I'll open it up and I'll use the front as a template to shape the back panel. So guys, I've cut out my back panel. My back panel has a zipper at the center back, so I'm going to split that part open. You can as well do side zip with inseam pocket on the same seam. If you do not know how to do this, I have a tutorial on my channel, you can look that up. So I'll quickly do this and I'll swell mark my pockets. So guys, I've done that and I've also marked my pocket. For my pocket, on the waistline, I came down at one and a half inches. Remember, the width of my band is three inches. So when I join the skirt to the band, the distance from my waistband to my pocket will be four inches. This is what six meters of our fabric is remaining. Here I have 30 inches. I'm going to keep this aside for our head wrap. And from these remaining pieces, I will cut the waistband and the pockets. Here are all my pieces, the front and back panels of the skirt, the waistband for the back panel with the lining, the waistband for the front panel with the lining as well, the pockets for both sides of the skirt and the zipper. My waistbands are not straight because the female body is full of curves and not straight. So I encourage you to draft your own waistband and get skirt that fits you better around your waist area. If you do not know how to draft your own waistband, I have a tutorial on my channel. I'll leave the link in the description. This skirt has a lining and at this point I completely forgot but I added that along in the video. I have added a lightweight interfacing on the waistband and each band measured 3 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance making it 4 inches. I will start first with attaching the pockets. I've pinned my pocket in place, I'll go ahead and attach it with a straight stitch and I'll do the same on the back panel. I have attached the pocket for the front and back panels, I'll go ahead and attach the zip. 
because i'm using a regular zip i'm going to attach the zip in a way that when it is closed the teeth of the zip will not show i have attached my zip the only thing i'm going to do differently is on the side of the skirt where i want to use to cover the teeth of the zip i'm going to push about 0.5 inch of fabric over the teeth of the zip like so you can go ahead and tuck it down on the waistline so that it will be easier for you when you're attaching your waistband. So I came in at 0.5 inch to cover the teeth of the zip. To stitch close the center back of the zip, I'm going to come in at 0.75 inch to maintain that cover because I do not want to run any top stitch on the zip. So guys, I've stitched close the center back of my skirt. I've also covered the raw edge of the zip that I trimmed off. This is ideal for someone who is not using a lining for their skirt and still want to jazz up the inside of their skirt. This is what the right side of my skirt looks like. The teeth of my zip is well covered. I will tuck it down there when I'm attaching the waistband to the skirt. So guys, I've pinned the waistband in place. I've also cut out the lining for this skirt. The width of the lining measured 18 inches and the circumference measured 46 inches. I will attach the lining of the waistband to the lining after I have gathered it back to the waist circumference I'm working with. But before I'll do this, I'll quickly attach the front and back panels of my skirt so here i'm taking the waist measurement i'll go ahead and attach it with a straight stitch and finish off the hem of the skirt so guys i've attached our skirt and i've also overlocked raw edges and finish off the hem of our skirt this is what the back of my skirt looks like. It has that invisible zip effect. We'll go ahead and work on the lining. I'll run a basting stitch on the waist of the lining to gather it back to the waist circumference I'm working with. Then I will join the front and back lining of the waistband into a strip. So guys, I've gathered my lining and I'm going to attach the lining of the waistband to the lining. The lining is ready. We are going to attach the lining to the skirt and we are going to attach by pinning the right side of the lining to the right side of the skirt. Once everything is pinned and matched up correctly, we are going to run a straight stitch to attach both pieces. I have attached the lining to the skirt and I'm going to make small notches on the waistband so that there will be no tension when I'm top stitching the seam allowance to the lining. So guys, I've top stitched the seam allowance on the lining of the waistband. This will help hold the waistband of the lining not to be popping out to the front. I'll go ahead and finish off the edges of the waistband where I'll be attaching the hook and the eye. On the side where I'll be attaching the hook, I'm going to fold the waistband with the right side facing each other and so, so that all seams will be hidden. And I'll do the same on the other side where I will attach the eye. So guys, I've sewn close the edges of my waistband and you can see that the seams are properly hidden. Make sure to push out the corners there to have that square shape. Now we'll be attaching the lining along the zipper just the same way we sew close the edges of the waistband so that the seams will be hidden. 
I'm going to unravel the stitches on the zip there then I'm going to take the right side of the lining to the right side of the skirt just like I'm doing and stitch along the zip allowance. So guys I've run my stitches and you can see that my seams are properly hidden and the lining is properly aligned along the zipper so i'm going to tuck this part in back into the waistband and top stitch on it so guys this is the finished look we have a clean finish you know on this side we have the hook extension on the waistband on the other side of the skirt where we'll attach the eye, we're going to turn the right side of the lining to the right side of the skirt and run a straight stitch all the way from the waistband down to the zip allowance line. I have attached the other side of the lining and we'll be hooking our skirt this way. I'll just secure that with pin. Now we are going to stitch close the center back of the lining and finish off the hem of the lining. So guys we have successfully attached the lining to our skirt and you can see how neat everything turned out. Finally I'm going to attach the waistband of the lining to the waistband of the main skirt to secure it. guys we've come to the end of this tutorial and this is the finished product of our hard work i'll just let you guys watch through the video is quite self-explanatory if you find this video helpful do not forget to give it a thumbs up share comment leave all your questions and suggestions in the comment section subscribe to my channel and until my next one a bientô we can make a beat right now, we can make a beat